Okay, welcome back. This is going to be video number two for the Ascend 133 Tournament Fishing Kayak. Today we are going to be mounting the seat onto the seat base, but we're going to be using the bar stool swivel like I had mentioned before. We do have one small problem though. So the two front or two rear, let's just say two of the holes will align. However, the others will not. So we're going to need to uh, bore out a little bit of this metal so that we can make it uh, align, so that we can get this secured. And then we'll need to do the same thing. I've already checked. Two of the holes for the bottom of the seat will align, and then the other two will also need to be borne out. So what I've done is I've just made a little scratch on either side here where it needs to be uh, bored out. And so we'll go over here, we'll get things going with a manual file, and then we'll probably finish it up with a Dremel. Possibly, depends on how things go. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, what we've got here, I've got it down here, there's a little scratch. So, all I should have to do is get things going, depending on how quick these manual bits go through it, I may or may not use the Dremel. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and, I don't wanna bang my hand up, to be perfectly honest, so I will put some gloves on. Last thing you wanna have happen is you slip. All right, let's get this going. We're definitely gonna use a Dremel. But we have a little groove started, so that will help. really like that looks pretty good let's go see how well this is gonna work out so we've got uh, right here like this we have the front ones lined up and now almost perfect so we just need to make it a little bit more okay this is working fine it's working great Okay, now for this one, same thing, but I'm gonna go up on it. Yep, and now to prove it, we're only gonna put these in for just a second because we'll need to take them back out. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, works great. And then what I'll end up doing, let me just make sure that this will... So let's cinch this down for a second. Make sure it's all the way back, okay. I will use a little thread locker. Oops, come on, get back, there we go. Okay. What I want to make sure of now is that the opposite bolts that will go to the uh, chair on the underside are going to be able to clear the head of these bolts. We don't want them 
to rub against one another. So just checking. Oh yeah, we got about an eighth of an inch. There's about an eighth of an inch between, so it's perfect. Okay, so now what we have to do is essentially the exact same thing, but to the top, so that we can then mount it to the chair. So go ahead and take these back off really quick. These, uh, shoot, these nuts and bolts that I'm using here just happen to be a bunch of extra ones that came with some of my up top Overland gear. And so I just went through there and saw what it was that I could use and made it work. Okay, so now what I wanna do is we're just going to, let's go with this one first. All right. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna start with, we're gonna start with the seat. We'll get this mounted to the seat first, then we'll get it mounted over to uh, the other one. So what we've got here is a little bit of thread locker, blue. We have some M, I believe they are M8 bolts. We've got some flat washers. So yeah, we've got a couple M8 bolts, uh, flat washers for either side, and then a nylock nut for the bottom. So uh, for these ones, I probably won't use any uh, thread locker because we've got the nylock nut, but because of those are actually going into a uh, recessed nut or receiver that's been put into this and I can't really tell what's going on. We will definitely use a couple drops of thread locker on these. Okay, let's get this going. So what have we here? Where is the front? The front is that way. So we want it to be mounted like so. Go with the front too, down here. Come on! There we go. Tight. One in the back, no problem. No problem. Okay. Take one of the washers and the nuts for each one of these bolts. And ooh, there we go. Last one. There we go. All right. Now we're ready to mount this back here. So, okay. Uh, for this, we are going to use a little bit of thread locker for each one of these. Not too much. So, I'll go ahead and start. Back in the back, just gonna put a couple drops so it's really thin. Okay, a couple drops on each one. So we have a lock washer, a flat washer, and then I believe this is going to be a M5. It's gonna be a five millimeter bolt, perhaps an M6. All right going another little bit not too much oh come on now there we go okay and last but not least you can see here that we've got it nice. Cinch this one down. There we go. And last one over here. All 
Okay, so now we're finished. We can go ahead and uh, let's make this chair look like it's actually a right chair and not something else. There we go. Okay, look at that guys. The chair can now swivel. You can still access the lower part of this if you want to. Uh, you will need to remove the drawer, obviously. So if you wanted to get lower, you could pull out the drawer. You could pop the chair off, put it into the lower position. You can rotate a little, but now you're limited because of the hall itself and not anything else. But the point was to have it high and to have it be able to swivel like so. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's short, straight to the point. I'll link to everything down below in the description and I'll see you on the next one when we get to the trolling motor. It's down here below right now. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna get it mounted. We're gonna get the battery all hooked up and we're gonna test it out. So see you next time. Thanks, bye.